-hmm. All right, y'all, today is all about stretching, okay? This is our first session for stretching in October, all right? So we're gonna focus on lower back, we're gonna focus on hamstrings, legs, abductors, all of that great stuff. So really here on down, all right? If you're ready, let's roll. If you need to press pause, do so, but definitely come back. All you need is just an exercise mat or a softer surface. Let's roll. We're gonna start standing up, start standing up. And what I want you to do is do a hip rotation going out, or really a flexor rotation going out. So you're picking your knee up, and we call these knee circles, and then going all the way back in. So lifting up, out, and then back down. Up, out, and then back down, okay? Even if you need to hold on to something and do this, that's fine, because the balance can get a little wonky. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, here we go. And I got some hip click going on, so I'll be doing some working the flexors too. I'm pretty sure that's coming from just some tension that has been built up in that area. So we'll get it together. I hope you're on the other side. If you need to hold on to something, that's fine, but take your time. There's no rush with this. No rush at all. Five, four, three, two, one. This time we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So I have you going up, out, and then down. Now I'm gonna have you going out, forward, down. Go out, forward, down. So now you're bringing it in. So we just finished going out. Now you're bringing it in, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, let's do the other leg. Same thing, out and then forward. Out and then forward. That can get a little wonky whenever you're trying to do it. <laughs> you might get a little mixed up. It's like one of those things where you're trying to pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, I want you to step out and we're just gonna make big circles with our hip. Take your time with these, there's no rush. There's no rush, but you really wanna make a big circle with your hips, nice and big. Try to hit all points, go as far as you can. Even whenever it comes to push your hips to the front, complete that circle, make a big circle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go in the opposite direction. So keep the same room going, just take it in a different direction. We're going the opposite direction from what you started. There you go. Breathing and taking your time. Going in a big circle. Nice and big. Nicely done. Keep it up. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. What we need to do is just move those hips from side to side. I'm kind of going in the front and then to the side, front and then to the side. Okay. I'm keeping my legs straight while I do this. I'm not bending at the knee at all. Legs are straight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. I want you to keep, well, push your hip to the right as far as you can. Let your right arm go over the head while you keep your chest facing towards me, okay? So chest and face forward. And then your arm is over right there in line with the ear. Your hip is pushed as far as possible to the right. And you're just breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, and one. What I want you to do now is turn the chest down, and I want you to reach with that right arm, and I'm gonna drop my left arm to reach as well. Okay, so I'm reaching all the way to the left. My hip is still to the right. My chest is now facing down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to drop down nice and slow because we're going towards the other side. Going towards the other side. Now your hip should be towards the left and you're reaching towards your right, okay? Almost like we're supermaning to the right side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I want you to turn your chest to the front. Let your left arm go in a line with your left ear over the head. Still with your hip as far as possible to the left, and you're holding. I have my right hand on my hip. You should feel this along the side of your body, a little bit in lower back as well. You may even feel it in your legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to drop down nice and slow and just hang there. You're just hanging there. 10, 9, 8. Drop your head. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to lift up to the front. Legs are still straight. Coming up nice and tall. I want you to let your hands go all the way. To the back, put your hands on your hip. Push those hips forward and breathe. So you might feel a nice stretch right along the front side of your leg. And push and hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open up again. Nice big shoulder roll. Push the hips to the back, slowly go over towards the front. You're going right back into that hanging position. So drop that head nice and slow, nice and slow. And gently place your hands on the ground, just relax and breathe. Hold it right there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good, coming up again. Good, and this time I want you to bring your feet together. Good, still up, big shoulder roll to the back, push your hands on your hips, on the back of your hips, excuse me, and push forward. Same stretch right there, pushing. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, going over again, push your hips to the back. So your feet are together this time. So you might feel this in the back of your legs a little bit more now that our feet are together. Goal is to try to bring your chest to the front of your thighs as much as possible. We're holding it right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. I want you to walk over as far as possible to the left side of your body. So your legs are still together, feet are together. And my hands are just on the outside of the body. My hips are still pushed to the back. I'm keeping my legs as straight as possible. And I'm just twisting. 10, nine, eight, seven, eyes open. Five, four, three, two, and let's walk it over to the right side. Take your time, keep your eyes open and reach. Hold it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, walk it back to the front and hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to step out. So, yeah, we're still there. I stepped out to the right. What we're going to do is go into a right lunge. Y'all know I love lunges. So, remember how you're supposed to be. Your foot needs to be flat. Foot needs to be flat. So, whatever side you're lunging on, whichever side your knee is bent, make sure that foot is flat. So, even if you're up here, that's fine. That's totally fine. Just make sure that you are not coming up on the toe and that there's not too much weight going towards that knee. If you find that there is, you know, causing you pain in your knee, bring the weight up just a little bit like that so that it's not too intense for that knee. All right? So good. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and move our weight over to the left. Same thing. And make sure you're breathing as you transition from pose to pose. You don't want to hold your breath or cause any type of tensity in your muscles. You really want to be as fluid as possible. So make sure you're breathing while you transition. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come up in the middle. Good. And I just want you to rock your hips from side to side. We'll take our time on this. Still going from side to side. We're about to take it down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's go ahead and take it down to the ground. Now's a good time to get a sip of water if you need it. My legs already feel a lot better with just that first half of our stretch session. We got another half to go, so let's stay in there. All right. So what I want you to do is starting. Stay on your butt, legs in pike position. I want you to take your left hand and reach as far as possible behind you, okay? So I want you to take your right arm and then try to hold on to that left shoulder. I want you to look back. You should feel a twist in lower back. So just looking back and twisting, chest is still up. You want to keep that back as straight as possible. So you're still performing great posture. That's how you're going to really feel the stretch the way you need to feel it. Just hold it there. Back is straight. We're twisting behind us. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, other side, reaching behind. We just switched it, that's all we did. Good posture. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Center yourself. And what I want you to do is take your right arm, go behind your head, pull on that right elbow with your left hand. So right now your right arm is behind your head and with your left hand, you're pulling on that right elbow. This is what I look like. Keep the back straight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, open up nice and big, and let's switch. So now your left hand is behind your head and your right elbow, I'm sorry, your right hand is pulling on your left elbow. Back is still straight, and you might even feel this, depending on how hard you're pulling, you might even feel this in the upper back as well. Really in that trap area between the shoulder blades, even on the outside, you might feel it there, okay? Kind of going down into your lats. So just hold it there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both hands up in the air, and I want you to fold over towards your legs, okay? 
Hold on the back of your, or the bottom of your feet, okay? You're holding on to the bottom of your feet. And what I want you to do is pull away. So pull away. When you're pulling away, you should feel some, you should really feel the pull in your upper back. Breathe with that. Even as you take those breaths, you should feel your muscles kind of like, you know, unkinking, if you will. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Coming up. Nice. Let's go back over and do that again. Going over. And you might find that you can reach just a little bit further than before. Hold on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Come up and relax. We're going to bend our knees. So that the soles of our feet are together and hold this position in butterfly position. Just hold it there. You want your knees to go as close as possible to the ground. Get as close as possible to the ground. If they're not there, y'all see me. It's okay. But that is the goal. You want to open them up. So use those flexors to open those hips up. Okay? Open up. Keep the chest up forward. Chin up. So you should feel a nice pull because you're actually working those muscles on the outside to pull your legs down away from being close together, okay? So now you're working the outside of your leg to get the stretch on the inside. So we're working a lot here. We got a lot going on, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Let's put our right leg in front. Okay. So you're folded there. We're just going to let our chest fold over towards the ground. Still opening up. And again, we're still in a form of a butterfly position. So your goal is to really keep those legs open as much as possible, getting those knees down to the ground and bending over. So you don't want your knees to come away from the ground. You want them to stay there. And breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Coming up. Breathe. Now we're going to switch legs. So now my left leg is in front before I had my right leg in front. Here we go. Going over, holding over. Taking your time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming up. This time I want you to keep your left leg folded in, but let your right leg go out to the side, okay? And we're going to drop our chest back down. Two through the middle and holding it right there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to walk our weight over towards the leg that is straight. I want you to take your left hand, pull on that ankle, okay? So the hand. On ankle, reaching across the body, you should feel that stretch over there going down into the lower back. So we're working a little bit in back and in legs as well. Holding it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, walk that weight. So you see I'm going through the middle and walking the way over. I want you to do the same thing. Go on the opposite side of the folded knee. And both of my hands are down. Both of my arms are straight. So that's straightening my back. What I'm now feeling, I feel a little bit of the core. 
I'm building the end of my lower back as well. And I'm still stretching the lower back. I'm still stretching legs as well. And then we're just holding it here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go back through the front and then come up. Good. Now switch legs. So I'm pulling the right leg in. Left leg is going out. Ooh, lower than left leg. All right. I don't know if y'all are going through something, but I'm going through. Okay, these legs are a mess. All right, going through the middle. Right down. And hold it. Right there. Ooh, I'm feeling it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one coming up. And now we're gonna go towards, ooh, let's go towards the straight leg first. So we're gonna take that right hand and reach for the outside of that left ankle. That's gonna create that stretch along the side of your body going into the lower back. I'm all tensed up. I feel this. I don't know about you at home, but I definitely feel this. Take your time to breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Going again. Transitioning the weight towards the folded knee. And we're going all the way back behind. Both arms are straight, palms are down, and we're holding. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Going back through. Let's hold this middle one more time. Do it to me, y'all. Do it to me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Coming up. Nice. And now we're going into straddle. Jesus. I'm still feeling that. But I can't tell that I am loosening up just a little bit. So in straddle, I want you to flex and point. Flex and point. This is how you work the back of that leg, even the back of the knee. Sometimes we get it gets tense back there. So if you're flexing and pointing, whether you're in pike position and your legs are together or in your straddle position, flex and point is a great way to stretch out and even work the calf muscles. Okay. So get pump ready because holiday season is around the corner. You're going to put the little pump, um, pump through the holiday party, right? So let's get the calves together. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Big shoulder roll. I'm still in point position with my toes. I'm going over towards the middle of Jesus. I feel that. Okay, keep those legs straight. You're not bending those knees. You want to keep the back of your legs on the ground, okay? So if you're hitting your knees, you're not gonna get stretched, okay? Hold it right there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Walking it back up. Ooh. I want you to let your right hand go over the head, going over towards the left leg, keeping that chest to the front. So we did this exact same stretch standing. Now we're doing it while we're in straddle position on the ground. So you might find that you're going to reach a little bit further. That's great. It's perfectly fine. Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice transition. Nice and slow. Breathe, going over towards the right leg this time. And you're holding it right there. Breathe, 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come up. And we're going back over towards the right leg. But now you're just trying to get your chest onto the thigh of your right leg. Okay? So hold it there. I'm holding on the bottom of my feet. Well, foot. <laughs> 10, 9, 8. And we'll even feel that pull nice and deep in that hamstring. Work that. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now let's go over towards the leg. Okay? Uh, hold it right there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And same thing. Let both hands grab on the bottom of that left foot. And you're trying to get your chest down towards your thigh. And we're holding it there. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Coming up. Nice. Let's lie flat on our back really quickly. We'll leave. Flat on your back. Y'all know I love grabbing underneath the knees. The back of your knees and hold it close to the chest and just breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. I want you to let your legs go down. Okay. So feet down. I want you to thrust your hips up. Good. And you can even hold the back of your glutes if you want, by the top of your glutes. And just hold it there. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips down. I want you to let your left leg go straight. I want you to pull that right knee in and pull it across your chest, okay? Try to keep those shoulders flat on the ground. Hold it right there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And let's switch it up. Left leg is in, going across the chest or across the body, I should say. Shoulders are still on the ground. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Good, let your legs go straight, come up, kind of shake it all out. Great job today. Roll your wrists out, roll your ankles out. Fantastic job, staying hydrated, that is super duper important. And we will be back for another October session on Wednesday. I'll see y'all then. If you have any questions, y'all know reach me. I will see y'all then. Thank you for joining.